Hey guys, Mitko here from DN Models and today we're thinning and airbrushing Mission Models Primer and as a test bed we are using Kinetics FA18 Hornet in 48 scale. This plane was built without using any putty and all the seam lines and gaps are clearly visible. It is not meant to be finished, only to serve as a measurement for some mask for the Splinter FA18 aggressor. For airbrushing, I will be using the good old trusty Sparmax SP35C. This is 0.35mm nozzle and I assume that most of you either have one of these in stash or have something very similar. This is a workhorse of an airbrush and that is the reason why I chose this particular tool for the testings. Brand new Mission Models paints and primers come in this bottle. Unscrewing the cap, you will find that they are sealed just like a liquid medicine of some kind. It gives you guarantee that you are starting the shelf life of the piece and eliminates the storage troubles before you start using the paint initially white primer in this particular case. Very neat feature seen only with mission models. Or at least I haven't seen any other company doing that. The thinner is sealed in the same manner and also features a dropper embedded in the screwing cap. This is 4 ounces bottle which is the big one of the two that mission models offer as an option. Mission models also suggest to mix your liquid in a separate container. Since you have to stir them, this is wise because you might damage the coating of your airbrush cup if you are stirring with the metal tool. For easier measurements, drops are being counted and used according to mission models advisory. They are the only company on the market that gives broad guidelines on how to prepare your primer and paints in order to achieve best results. The primer that we are spraying here needs to be mixed with the thinner in order to activate it. This is just slightly different for the paints. It is very hot day and I added one or two drops more to guarantee that I won't get dry needle tip. The shot glass that I'm using will waste some of the primer due to the fact that it is rather tall one. I suggest you use something shorter. Pouring everything into airbrush cup is easy though. The primer is thicker than what I am used to but it flows without any problems. How and why exactly this happens is a bit of a mystery for me. It eases up the process nevertheless. Starting with 18-19 psi I am going to shoot a couple of light coats over the flat surfaces. The spray will be thin and delicate layering the primer slowly to achieve more thinner surface coverage. More often than not, working your way on the surface slowly is what I use to practice when using primers. If you use bigger nozzle sizes, you might be doing that differently. Here I am showing my perspective using an airbrush like Sparmax with 0.35mm nozzle which basically covers all the modeling needs and it is something like all-in-one airbrush. Note the distance that I'm spraying from. Depending on your nozzle size you can correct that a bit but not with much. Be sure to do a couple of tryouts before you spray your first model for good. Mission models are offering slightly new perspective and you need to understand and comply with it. With everything new, there is a time required for a person to adapt to it. For the bottom left stabilizer I spray with more trigger action just to test the results. Primer and paints from mission models are kind of a self-leveling and this shouldn't be a problem. For the lower left wing I am purposely using almost full spray action on the airbrush, wasting the primer to see what will happen if you are reckless while applying it. Again, solely for testing purposes. Now different pressure, slightly lower and almost the same thinner primer mixture, just couple of more drops of thinner inside. It is around 10 am and is quickly getting warmer. We are right in the middle of the summer season and note me here rushing it through. Actually the results are similar 
since the primer is very forgiving, even though the speed I am using is not the best one. It applies in a thin coat and this is the way I want it. I apply it exactly like I do the painting in basic colors. The cup of the airbrush is 2 milliliters in size. In total, in this video, I am spraying a cup and a half, more or less 3 milliliters in total. Note the thinner mixture and slightly higher pressure and how there are clouds behind the surface. Very important feature regarding that. Absolutely no troubles while working with mission models. I didn't use the mask or any other protective device and while with other paints I get sore throat feeling, here I felt nothing and I mean nothing at all after finishing spraying. Being healthy while working with your favorite hobby is vital. There are more than a few people that complain about headaches or similar problems while working with aggressive paints. Whatever you do, don't forget to use protective gear, masks, glasses and such. Also be sure to spray in a well ventilated environment and I do suggest to get yourself a spray boot too. I am doing it all wrong here. The sole purpose of that is to make the video with better light. Otherwise, be sure to be more cautious than I am. And this is important. Trust me on that. The results are more than satisfactory. The primer is equally dispersed around the surface. Although I wasn't going to full and complete coverage, the finish is surprisingly good. It is not smoother like with the Surfacer 1200 spray, but the details are more visible. Here we have a slightly grainier surface, which allows the paints to get a good grip. This is only when you touch it though. It is very smooth as you can see for yourself looking at it. If another light coat is applied, everything will be perfect. Admirable results even without much of an effort from my side. After 20 to 30 minutes, it was rock hard. Very solid primer. Again, this was rushed through process just to test the basic features of the primer and was done in a very warm day which speed ups the curing process and creates additional troubles of course. This not only adds additional risk for your finished model but also makes cleaning harder. I was being advised by a couple of master modelers before I started spraying. They all agreed that the temperature must not be too high or too low. It might seem like a joke, but it isn't. Speaking about that, let's see how you should clean your airbrush. It is advisable to use Mission Models Thinner. When you use the same medium as a thinner for your paint or primer, and then you use it as a cleaner, it is always with better results than if you use different solutions. In this particular case, the edges that appeared on the cup, its walls, can be cleaned as a breeze. The thinner is not aggressive, but it reacts to the cured primer and probably activates it in order to help you rinse everything with higher pressure. Drying tips was almost not present even on that summer day. If you look very closely, you will see that after rinsing everything with 30 to 35 psi pressure and full trigger action, only small amount of primer is visible on the tip of the needle. I clean everything with IPA and cotton swabs afterwards. The cup of the airbrush is almost completely clean since some little work with cotton swab or brush too needed at the very bottom of it, but not on the needle. This is because the primer is flowing nicely and also because SP35C from Sparmax features very nice paint flow and coating of the cup. If you follow Mission Models recommendations on how to use paint and primer, the latter one in this case, you will have good results guaranteed. Very clever of them to put this guideline inside of my package to help me out with my first tryout. They do it for all, if I am correctly informed. In general, Mission Models Primer is very highly recommended since it held up pretty nicely in that warm weather. For example, Vallejo Primer or Alclad Grey 
would have caused a bit more troubles with the drying tip and especially cleaning the airbrush afterwards. Here no such thing was experienced. Even with only testing coats the results are superb. Good finish providing great grip and equal surface. And that is with me spraying it purposely the wrong way at some details. Mission Models primers are very highly recommended. Stay tuned for more tests with the paints too. Thank you for watching, comment down below, subscribe if you enjoy. Once again, I highly recommend you to test Mission Models paints and primers. I will see you in the next one.